a plan for economic growth. I have a plan that would create jobs, raise take-home pay, lift people out of poverty, hold down health care costs, and reduce energy prices. And that is very important here in the Commonwealth of Virginia because we've actually, while the unemployment rate nationally has come down, our unemployment rate in Virginia has been climbing. And in fact, it has gone up seven-tenths of a percentage point over the past four months. And in Virginia, since President Obama and Senator Warner took office together, for every net job created, two Virginians have gone on food stamps. There are 65,000 more women today living in poverty than when the senator took office, and more businesses are closing than opening in the Commonwealth of Virginia. That's true across the country. And I believe that is the result of bad policies, and the right policies would make those things better and turn things around. And I want to visit with you a little bit about some of those things. And as the chairman noted, we have a handout here for you, my five-point agenda for economic growth. There's a copy, and we have English language and Vietnamese uh, language as well. And by the way, I've had this translated into Korean and Spanish, Tagalog, Farsi, and I am taking our message everywhere in Virginia because I want to be a servant leader to all Virginians. But I believe policies like these would unleash private sector investment and create jobs, and it starts with the need to replace the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, with market-oriented reforms and patient-centered reforms that would not kill jobs, would not result in skyrocketing health insurance costs, would not mean that we would lose our insurance and that we like in the doctor that we trust. And we just learned recently that as a result of the Affordable Care Act, 250,000 Virginians will have our health care plans canceled this year. And so tomorrow I will put forward a positive alternative that is focused on, uh, on uh, an alternative that is market-oriented and reforms that would hold down costs, make health care more affordable, and uh, would not cost us our insurance that we like and our doctors that we trust. The second thing we need are, is uh, tax and regulatory relief. We have the highest corporate tax rate in the world today, and it is driving investment and jobs and American companies overseas. And we need to bring that rate down from 35% to 25%, and we need tax relief for working Americans as well. And uh, I have a proposal to ease the squeeze on hardworking Virginians. One of the things I find everywhere I go is that too many Virginians are squeezed between lost jobs, lower take-home pay, reduced working hours, and higher prices for health care, energy, and food. And my policies would ease that squeeze, and tax relief is part of it, as is regulatory relief for small business owners, I talk to you all across Virginia, these regulations are killing small business owners and small businesses, making it impossible for them to hire or expand or open up a new business. The third thing we need is, is uh, to unleash American energy. And we need to lift the moratorium on drilling off our deep sea coast here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. We need to stop the assault on the, on the coal sector in southwest Virginia. And we need to approve the Keystone XL pipeline and get that moving. And Senator Warner has voted twice now on the Senate floor to block that from moving forward. The fourth thing Tony mentioned, the importance of education. And we believe in a, an economy, a society, and a country based on equality of opportunity. And that starts with making sure that every child has a quality public school to attend and a safe public school to attend. And my reforms would inject a little more competition in our public schools, if competition's good for me and Mark Warner, it would be good for our public schools. And uh, I believe make them more responsive to the needs of students and parents. And the last thing is, we need to cut wasteful Washington spending and balance our budget again. I believe that under the policies of President Obama and Senator Warner, the federal government is doing too many things that would be better left to state and local governments and to the private sector and failing at too many things that the federal government ought to be doing well. And we need to make a higher priority of the things the federal government ought to be doing well. And for me, one of those things, first and foremost, is our national security. And we have been slashing our military to pay for more social programs. I believe that's the wrong priority. And if I am elected to the United States Senate, I will seek a seat on the Senate Armed Services Committee where I will stand up for our men and women in uniform and for the veterans who have served to keep us free. And that is very important for a senator from Virginia to do. And we can get our priorities straight, we can turn things around, we can get our country back on track. And the last thing I will share with you, Tony mentioned, is that I care deeply about this country as we all do. And every Virginian I come across who's involved in this election and, and wants to vote cares deeply about our country. But, you know, one of the things that made me want to run for the United States Senate is the fact that for the first time in our lifetimes, 
most Americans no longer believe that we are a country where the next generation can do better than the generation that came before us. That does not have to be our past. That must be our future. And it can be with the right policies. And one of the reasons that matters to me is my own family history. I am the son of an immigrant. My father came to this country as a boy from Ireland because his father, my grandfather, found work in America as a janitor. My parents never went to college. They insisted that I do, and I took out student loans and worked my way through the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. Did a lot of odd jobs. One of my jobs was as a Senate parking lot attendant. I parked the cars for the staff who work in the big office buildings on Capitol Hill. And I'm hoping in November to become the first person ever to go from the Senate parking lot to the Senate floor. <laughs> And I got to be counselor to the President of the United States of America. From immigrant janitor to West Wing of the White House in two generations' time. What a country. But I fear we're losing that kind of economic opportunity and upward mobility as a result of Senator Warner's policies, and that's why I wanted to run for the United States Senate, because my policies would turn things around and would make things better for ourselves, our families, our fellow Virginians, and our fellow Americans. And so I appreciate you being here today to hear from me. I'm glad to be back with the community. This is my fifth visit with the Vietnamese community. I'm very serious about uh, taking my message to every corner of the Commonwealth and every segment of the electorate. And I'm very glad to be back with you here today. And I look forward to getting your questions. Thank you very much for letting me be here.